that a man called Sheikh Abbas that can you please come in our house uh, we have a dead body we want you to give ghusl to that body so the Sheikh says uh, no problem okay so Sheikh went all the way to the place and Sheikh is saying that once I reached it was not a house it was not a villa it was a castle a big you know castle and then from the door, from the main door, in order to get inside, maybe you have to walk for literally five minutes. That big, you can imagine. This is the only outside of the house. So the Sheikh is going inside and, and mashallah, the house is, you know, garden, trees, grass and all this uh, luxury stuff. He said, until I reached at the, you know, door, the main door of the house, the entrance. So there was a, like a a normal man standing there so he spoke to Sheikh in a very rude way he says uh, go this way you will find the road or you will find the stairs up there is a room so Sheikh is like almost 60 years old above you know an old guy respectful person he looked at him and he says uh, uh, you know I'll just go I'll go by myself. So he says, uh, either you go or I'll, I'll send one of, my, one of my servants to take you. So Sheikh didn't like it. Like, you know, uh, and he, you're the person who called me all the way. Just respectfully, at least take me. So the Sheikh repl replied back. He says, see, I can, I can go. I don't need anyone. I can just go all the way. Uh, so the Sheikh, uh, the guy said uh, after that, he says, if you don't know the way, I will send someone, my servant, to take you. So Sheikh looked at him and he says, see, I'm not your servant. I came here for some noble cause. I'm doing it fi sabilillah. So I'll go by myself or you call someone else, he will do it for you. So the man says, okay, okay, you know, fine, go. And the man saying, the house, the castle inside, it's so big and it's so clean that you can see your face from the tiles on the floor. That clean and that big the house is. Anyways, he went all the way to the upstairs and he went inside the bedroom. Literally, Sheikh saying the bedroom was like eight by eight. A big bedroom. And there are like a, two or three uh, servants there and no one else and he went all the way to see the body now he once he saw the body the body was covered he removed the face to see the cover and he saw literally that ants literally coming out from his nose from his ears and stuck to his face and his neck the more he is removing that thing the cover he can see the body is filled with small ants. The red ants, the small one, that bites. So the Sheikh was like completely shocked that he's looking down, nothing clean, everything is clean. Nothing. From where this, this ants coming? And literally some of the ants moving, going inside the ear, going inside the nose, coming out from the other nose. So he said, I, I put it back now. How can I manage this, this uh, situation? So he said, I called another sheikh. And he said, sheikh, I have a XYZ condition, XYZ problem, that the ant is coming from the body, so what should I do? So other sheikh, the one he called to ask his advice and ask his fatwa, the other sheikh says, uh, yeah, sheikh Abbas, if you ask me about, you know, how to give ghusl on a certain way, I can tell you, if you want to ask me how to give a ghusl to a dead body who is completely, you know, burnt burn out, I can tell you. If you ask me about fiqh, uh, ghusl means like, you know, the fiqh of, of uh, giving bath to the dead body who is into pieces, I can still tell you. But now the condition you are telling me, not, it's not even mentioned in, in, in the book of fiqh. So, so I cannot be tsarraf. You take the lead, I cannot do anything. You just do. I cannot advise you anything, like what, what you can do. So again, the sheikh is asking the servants, who's here among the, among the kids, among the boys? No one. 
Okay, what about the one who, who just met me downstairs? Baba Mumojud. The, 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 you know, our, our sponsor or the, the person is not, not available. So he's alone with the servants. So he said at the end, what I thought, I went inside the, the room, there's a bathroom. I went inside the bathroom. I saw the tub. And this is, he's saying, I'm, I'm just getting these you know, thoughts from Allah Almighty. I don't know what to do. So I went to the tub. I closed the, 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 uh, the sink. And I opened the water, the tab, until the, it, it fills up. And then I went back to the body. I asked the servants to carry the body with me. And we went inside that tub. And I put inside his nose and inside his ear uh, cotton. And we dipped the whole body inside the tub. So the ants start floating on the water. So this is what he, he did. The, you know, he start again putting it up, putting it down on the water. The, the floating ants, he's removing it. And then he is wiping the, the, the body and everything until all the ants that goes away. But he is, he is astonished and he's surprised that where these ants coming from, the house is so clean, the house is marble, that, you know, all the marble and tiles, that there is no way that there is a hole and the ants are coming from. Anyways, long story. He took it out from the, from the tub, he went back, he put it on the, on the uh, bed again, and he started wrapping the body with the kafan and then putting the usual thing, sidr and, and atr and fragrance and all these things on the body, and wrapped him up. And then... He finished his work, he went down, and while he is going, he saw one guy just, you know, walking. One of the sons. So he went and he says, uh, I finished the, the ghusl of, of your father. And uh, like, is there anything else you want me to do? So disrespectfully, this, 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 this person, this son, he says, you can see that room? This is the room of the drivers. You can go there and eat with them. So subhanAllah, again the shaykh like, you know, what is this like, you know, what is what this ta'amul, what is this mu'amala, what is this like, you know, a way of dealing with people. So normally, the shaykh's habit, when he sees these things, either it's something good or something bad, he normally asks the person like, you know, what this person used to do, you know, so, so he will know. So he started asking now the grandson, he said, now listen my son, the one I gave ghusl to, who is he? So he said, he's my grandfather. He says, now, do you know what I saw? He says, yes, we all know. We all know that, you know, this ant coming from his body, coming from his nose, coming from his ears, coming from, you know, his body and, and, and biting the entire body. And we don't know, or we didn't know what to do. And that's why we're not even willing to come and stand next to him. So the Sheikh says, La hawla wa tala billah. And then, may I know, may I know what's your you know, uh, grandfather used to do. So the son is driving and he kept quiet for some time. And he says, Sheikh, my grandfather used to literally beat his mother. Literally. Without any respecting any family member, he used to literally beat, slap, kick his own mother. Subhanallah. Can you imagine? And the Shaykh is listening to that and he is in shock. Like how come a person, a living human being on, on this earth can do that? Can do that? So he said, yes, into the extent that the bruises shows on my, on my uh, you know, uh, grandmother, grandmother. The bruises shows on her face, in, on her eyes, on her uh, hands. And then my father, you know, my father, you know, the, who's, who's talking now? The grandson. So he's saying, my uh, father, who is the sons of the uh, one who died, they literally used to take the mother to the, to the uh, police station. That you know, you should report this man, you should say anything about him. So they used to take him literally to the, all the way to the, to the police station. And when the muhaqqiq, when the, when the, uh, the inspector comes and asks, uh, Hajiya, what happened to you? She says, no, I fell down. I was uh, standing and then something. So I said, yeah, there are bruises. Yeah, yeah, I fell down on the floor. So she never ever says anything against her own son. And this happened like literally every single week and every single two weeks. 
until the police station knows that this is happening in the house, but we cannot do anything because the mother is refusing to say anything. And the sons cannot do anything because, you know, the one who is doing this is their father. And, and no one can do anything. So subhanAllah, the ending of this person was that, you know, even when he died, neither the son, neither the other son, the third son, the grandson, able to, to, to help this man, neither standing next to his qabr or next to his body. Moreover, that Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala punished him in this dunya by, by making the ants, and Allahu alam where this ants came from, from the body itself, from somewhere else, and went inside all the body and, and, and biting him. And the Prophet ﷺ said in a hadith, Kasar uh, Ibam uh, al-Mayyit, the meaning of the hadith, that you break, or breaking the bone of a dead body, as you broke his, his uh, bone if he's alive. Which means, like, you know, the pain that he will go through, the dead body, is exactly the same pain that he will go through if he was alive. So imagine now the ants going inside the nose and coming from the other nose or going from the ear and coming out of the ear and biting all the neck and all the face and all the uh, body from head to toe. What he is going through? Yes, the only reason that the, the, a live person can, can scream, can shout, can you know, uh, show the, uh, his pain and this dead body cannot say anything. But the pain is the same for both. So this was the uquba and uh, according to the ulama, the ittifaq of, of all the ulama, that the consequences of the parents, the, the, uh, whatever you do to your parents in this dunya, you will see it before the akhirah. So if you were, if you was good to your parent, and if you are doing good to your parent, you will see the consequence or you will see the result of it in this dunya. And if you are bad with them, if you are disrespecting them, and the, 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 the crime is if you are extending your hand towards them, you will see the same situation before you die in this dunya. And subhanAllah,